Wait, is this thing recording? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> oh. Shout out, YouTube. Come, <laughs> coming live from our made in Michigan. It's the most wonderful time of the year. The time to do accounting. All right. That was take three. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Just like we planned it, the song ends out. But I'm bam. All right, uh, today we're going to be doing a balance sheet. We have already done the three row heading, uh, name of the business, name of the doc, and the date. Now we're going to do uh, assets on the left. Dibbit on the left, credit on the right. Dibbit left, credit right. Yeah, can we just Assets. <laughs> Back in the day. All right. So we're going to list our assets. Cash. 9500 Petty cash is a hundo. <laughs> We have Akrek, Betsy, Russell. Uh, she owes us sixteen fifty. Next up, we have Akrek Charles Healy, the inventor of Healy shoes. It's very famous. If you're watching this 10 years from now, Heelys were uh, these shoes with wheels in the bottom. <laughs> it's not important. Charles Healy does what he wants. Charles Healy owes us 1403. Then we have supplies. We have $220 worth of supplies. Prepaid. Insurance is six forty. All of these accounts and balances came from right up here. If you recall, these are called balance sheet accounts. They end up on the balance sheet. So we took these numbers and put them on this new document called a balance sheet the bs section the balance sheet now on the right side we're going to do liabilities that'll be your heading liabilities are when you owe somebody else money for uh Financial assets. So we have an ACPAY to Lindgren Supply. Lindgren. Uh, for 548 Then we have ACPAY taxes by Thomas. Uh, we owe them $111. So, uh, that is our liabilities, uh, section. Those come directly from the balance sheet. They are accounts that have credit balances. So they are listed over here. The uh, next line, we're going to do total liabilities and then add these two up. Put a line underneath that tells you to add them up. You get nine, five, 
six. Six five nine is your total liabilities. Now you're going to do your next section. Your next section is owner equity. Now, owner equity is the one that's a little bit tricky. Um, owner equity, if you were to like make a formula, I'm going to write it down here. It would be capital plus net minus drawing. So your final owner equity is capital plus net minus drawing. Uh, so we'll start with capital. Uh, capital right here is 11810. It's Ken Cherniak Capital. So Ken Cherniak, comma, Capital. This is not a final balance, so we're going to leave it um, not in the column where we put all the numbers because we're going to have to do something to it. We're going to have to, like, use our little formula. So, all right, Ken Cherniak Capital, and this is the ledger account capital. But then throughout the month, things happen to capital because you make some money, you pull some money out, um, so those things are important to note. So the next line is going to be net income. Net income from the uh, eight column merchant is 1899. So you're going to write 1899. It's the year Mark Carlson was born. <laughs> Roasted. And then if you're looking at the formula down here, capital plus net minus drawing. So we're going to actually do minus drawing next. They even list it and they call it less drawing. Less lets you know that you're going to subtract. <coughs> and the drawing total is 855. So you're at 855. So right now we have capital, net, and drawing all kind of lined up goofily. Here's how accountants do this part. Not totally sure why, but they subtract these two numbers, and then they put the answer off to the right so they can add it to capital. So when you subtract these two numbers... You get 1044. So 1044 is net income minus drawing. Then you're right, Ken Cherniak Capital, and you add these two numbers and you put it in the actual column for numbers. So, four, five, eight, 12. So, Ken Cherniak Capital is 12, eight, five, four, and we got that by taking the current capital plus the net minus the drawing. Or actually, I guess we would have done capital plus the difference in net and drawing. So we do that. And then uh, the next line is going to be total liabilities and owner equity. And you add this side up. You add the total liabilities to the new capital. And when you do that, I'll throw this in the old calculator. 
six five nine plus twelve eight five four. Uh, you get thirteen five thirteen. So thirteen thousand five hundred and thirteen. So that is our total liabilities and owner equity. Over here, we're now going to add up the total assets. We could have done this before. It doesn't really matter, I guess. So total assets is going to be the sum of these six numbers. Someone go ahead and do that for me right now. I will pause the YouTube video. Pause. Unpause. <laughs> All right. Um, so what is the sum of these six numbers? <laughs> uh, repause. Unpause. 13513. 13513. Excellent. As if we were just adding these up no. like good accounting students, not talking about anything weird. Uh, all right, 13513, 13513, on the balance sheet, allo is true, assets equals liabilities plus owner equity, call back to like chapter one, when we talked about assets, liability, and owner equity, whoop, whoop. double line it, yum, 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 and that, my friends, is a balance sheet. And you can account on that. Thank you. For <laughs> wow. All right. You guys have a happy holiday. What? Whoa. All right. I guess that'll be it.